Superintendent David Fleischman gives an update on Newton's public schools for the fall. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm gonna give two updates tonight. First is on our summer programs. Uh, it is a very busy summer in the Newton Public Schools with hundreds of students in our school buildings. Um, primarily our extended year program, and I just wanna recognize all of our special education administrators who worked so hard both in the planning um, as well as for the operational, and that's pre-K to 12. We have students really in summer school from pre-K to 22, I should say, and it's really an expansive program. We also have other programs running as well um, in terms of intervention support and literacy and math. We also have our calculus project running, which is going really well. I look forward to visiting the calculus project next week. And so it's a really busy summer. It's, uh, in some ways, the weather hasn't been great, but that's okay because um, there are a lot of other things to do. Um, at the same time as we run our summer programs, we are thinking about the fall as well and engaging in lots of fall planning. That began right on July 1st with our administrators retreat, which where we reflected in the year and also spent a lot of time thinking about next year as we welcome students back full time. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's a message again we want to reiterate is that our schools will be open, um, full in person, full for all schools, all grades. There will not be, and this is per DESE guidance, there will not be a remote option um, for our schools. And right now, the state guidance that's in place is the state guidance that was issued this past spring, which really includes full in, in person. Um, it includes no distancing. It, it really is almost the guidance that we have right now are almost pre-COVID in many ways, not fully. However, that being said, I think everyone's paid close attention to what's gone on over the last week or two, um, not only with, with changes in terms of, you know, what's gone out there in terms of positive cases, but also in terms of recommendations from the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics. And we know for families, it's been really confusing in terms of looking at the guidance and realizing, well, what do I believe and, and where, what does it mean for the fall? I can tell you that there have been meetings on Beacon Hill in the last 48 hours um, that, have, that are addressing this very issue in terms of what, what should the guidance be for Massachusetts. Um, I was told today that we can expect some guidance probably in early August, could be sooner. Um, at this, so we'll be looking for state guidance um, on what we can expect in the fall. Um, certainly, we know we're going to be back in person, but in terms of health protocols, that's really what we're looking for. Um, we're also convening our medical advisory group that will help us interpret some of the state guidance and, and plan, and, and that meeting will happen later this week. Um, we also, <coughs> excuse me, will share a communication to the community. Our bi-weekly newsletters will begin, they're every other week on Wednesdays and those will begin next week again, uh, where we'll be communicating some of that information that I just shared. And if we have any updated information as we prepare for our opening um, in September. So stay tuned in terms of that communication. And we look forward obviously to the meeting with our medical advisory group and just, paying attention to the changes. I think one thing we've all learned in COVID is how things change and we have to be prepared for those changes as we plan for what we expect to be a terrific, terrific opening of the school year. 